Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the show. Thanks for joining us back on the program. So last video you saw us pull the motor out and here we are with our block. It's completely torn down. I didn't really get a chance to take a bunch of footage of the actual disassembly. I'm up at uh, my buddy Pete's place here. He's not really into the camera stuff. There's a couple other guys uh, hanging around too, but we got the whole thing stripped apart and we got some good news and some bad news and we're starting to formulate a plan as to where we go from here. So um, as you see out the block apart here, I'll show you guys all the parts. I'll show you guys the damage we found. We know exactly what the problem was. Um, so let's just get into it. I'll start doing a little bit of a walk around and show you guys what we found. Okay, so we'll start with all the good. Um, basically during the assembly, we just kind of took all the valve train from each side, marked everything and just left it into the valve covers of each uh, bank on the engine. Um, the good things, no problems with the heads at all. We're gonna have to probably do a disassembly of um, both like the spring areas and just kind of clean everything, but nothing looked bad in there at all. Um, you can see it was burning a bit of oil inside. We saw that on the tops of the pistons too. Um, other really good things, all the rockers are like mint. The main thing we were worried about too was our lifters. Our lifters, Pete has assured me that these things are good to go. We'll obviously clean them uh, before they go back in as well, but all the rollers are rolling excellent. There's no debris in there. There really wasn't a lot of debris uh, in the oil left in the engine. I think the filter pretty much grabbed it all. So that really goes to show um, how good those filters can be and the importance of catching things quick. I didn't catch this as quick as I wanted to, but um, you know, probably did save um, quite a bit of things by catching it as soon as we did. Um, so the block itself, no problems with the block. The cylinder walls still look really good. Um, Pete was happy even with the cam bearings and stuff, which is awesome too, because those are only two years old. Um, down below all the main cap bearings, uh, those were all fine. And then when we did get the crank out, I'll show you guys the crank in a bit here. Oh, there's, there's all the main caps here. You can see the bearings for them. There was no problems with those guys at all. Like a little bit of wear, nothing crazy. Uh, camshaft was good. There was no scoring on it at all, like no ridges. So that shows that the lifters were good. The cam is good. Nothing got wiped out there. Other bank, obviously all that uh, rocker assembly and lifters, same kind of situation. We checked them all with the roll. We're gonna clean them all thoroughly anyway when they go back into the motor eventually. Make our way over here. So this is here where we found all the problem. Every one of these uh, connecting rod bearings was totally torched. They were, some were even stuck onto the crank themselves, but it was almost every one. Um, they kind of went bad from the front of the motor to the back of the motor. The back ones weren't too bad. The front ones were completely cooked, but they're all just destroyed. So these will not be used again. Besides, we've got a new plan where we're gonna be using some uh, longer stroke stuff anyway so this was definitely our issue these guys like you just see they're just absolutely cooked ridges on both sides and all that material we saw in the filter and uh, in the oil it's definitely from those guys pan was okay obviously intake was okay here's our crank you can see we got heat mark on it the cr it's oh, you can feel the ridges so that crank is done. It served its life as just a stock crank, so I'm really not too worried about it. In fact, uh, you know, the way it went is like that got destroyed, those rod bearings got destroyed, everything else seems to be good. So I'm quite okay with all of that. So sort of where we go from here now, um, I think the basic preliminary plan is basically rebuild this block, get it cleaned up, um, send to a machine shop, get it checked over, of course, and then basically use everything from the previous motor into this motor with a four inch stroke. Um, that'll pull our RPM down, keep it a little bit safer. We won't spend a 6,700 RPM anymore, um, which is probably why the failure happened. Too much RPM and not enough oil feeding everything at that RPM is why those things got cooked. So we got a little bit of a plan, go to a four inch stroke, keep everything the same as it is right now. And we'll probably pick up, you know, I've seen similar combinations. Pete's done a bunch of combinations here that make 600, Horsepower 580, basically this combo uh, with a four inch stroke. So that'll be really good for our program. Um, I was dabbling about what to do about the block and everything. We're still gonna make, figure that out in the future, but we do have a bit of a plan. So I'm stoked on that. And I'm really stoked that the lifters are good. The heads are good. The rockers are good. Uh, camshaft is good. 
So we're gonna save a ton of money there. This will be maybe half the cost of kind of what I was thinking was gonna be because that stuff is still good. So a little quick video for you guys, give you guys the update, show you some carnage, and uh, let you guys know we're gonna keep pressing on. This thing's gonna go get hot tanked. I think Pete already ordered a crankshaft, just like automatically he's just on it. So that's awesome. It's really great to have him in my corner. You know, he's really stoked that I'm out there racing and uh, great guy. A couple of the other guys were here too. Sandy and Bob from the track were here. Always good to see those guys. They're pretty funny guys. Uh, so we're gonna keep pressing on. We got a plan. We got good parts. We got some junk parts, but uh, moving forward, stay tuned. It's all coming up soon. Thanks. We'll see you soon.